Well, hello there, I'm Marine Jakuki, and today we're going to talk about ED bug out bag. Why would you need it for? See these pretty pictures of stars? Out there, somewhere in this haystack, is a flying spaceship, and it's coming straight here. There it is. This flying spaceship out of a needle of a haystack found us. One six trillion years to get here, but he got here. Now, all these stars that you're ready to see could be galaxies, constellations. This is a needle in a haystack. Now, find another planet out there that has life on it. Go ahead, pick a star. It might be a galaxy. It might be a constellation. You don't know. Oh, it might be one of these. That might be a star that you just picked out. You never know until you really look into the stars in the heavens. Hey, there's a couple of UFOs in there, a couple of alien species that live in this one. And they're coming to get us, but they have to find us in this haystack of needles. So people believe that UFOs is coming down and going to attack us. And they have to get this bug out bag before they get here. Alright, think about this. If an alien spaceship can travel through billions of light years and make it here, even with the s speed of light, it will still take half of that to get here. So they must be dead on that ship the time to get here. But don't worry. We have zombies. Yes, the great zombie. This great zombie apocalypse. Maybe people will grab their bug out bag and go into the woods because they've got zombies ready to attack us. So people believe this zombie apocalypse, the aliens are coming to get us. Oh my, what a horrible sight this would be if all humans just turned to zombies and start eating people's brains. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, if you don't believe in your foes, you don't believe in... Zombies, hey, maybe the wrath of God is going to strike down. He's finally going to take his world back. Maybe you believe in the God. Maybe it's time for his wrath to come upon us. Now remember, thousands and thousands of years, people have been saying that in the times of in the times, and God will send his four horsemen down and take over the world, even though the four horsemen has been around for thousands of years. Each one is death, war, famine, famine, and plague. Now, if God takes over, all the sinners are going to burn in hell. But hey, don't don't forget, if you believe in Jesus, you go straight to heaven. You don't have to worry about this fiery pit or being left on earth. Just believe in Jesus every day. Or guess what? His four horsemen is coming to get you and eat you and gobble you up. Don't forget that plague, the war, the famine, and whatever the other one is, the plague, they're all coming for you. They're going to eat you and gobble you up. But hey, but while you wait, we can start building these shelters and let them crumble and fill up with water. Maybe our children will go down there and have hanky-panky or play hide in the seat if you get by drift. But you never know what you're going to do with your bug out building or your, what, what do you call these, shelters? Look at this shelter. It's been abandoned for a couple of thousands of years or how long it's been there. But there's very lot of videos on YouTube's abandoned shelters all over the world. They believe in the Russia's going to bomb us, and they build these shelters, and they scare you. And what people do? What do people do? They'll go out and buy something really ridiculous. For example, they go out and buy these things right, right here. Hey, I'll get a bug off bag. I'll go in the woods. All right, if aliens, zombies or God, or wrath of God, these bags are not going to help you in any situation. If aliens have the technology to get here, <clears throat> get here, they're going to have the technology to see through the woods and find your ass. If Star Trek had the technology to go from point A to point B, guess what? 
they're going to see you through the stone too and transport you on their ship and eat you alive. But after you buy those bags, you will start putting junk in it, little knickknacks, things that you think you might you might survive the Holocaust. You might survive the aliens, you might survive the the zombie, or you might survive the wrath of gods or God. So you're gonna fill it out with different items. Like all that stuff is not gonna fit in that bag. I tell you that right now. But people believe that Grabbing all this stuff, putting it in the bag, and running in the woods is going to save their lives. I don't know. I want to show you a couple of pictures of different things you could put in your bug out bag so you can run into the woods with your fantasy thoughts or whatever you're thinking. That's the most fanniest, th the most fanniest thought. Listen, tell me, I can't even speak. The most Fantasy thought that humans think. Aliens, zombies, the apocalypse, they all believe in this error. TV, meteor, always going to make fear into you. They started with um, the swine flu, the, the, nest, the, the, the West Nile virus, uh, stars. Almost every year they come up with something Y2K, started around Y2K, which is 2004, no, 2000, where the computers are going to shut down everything and everybody's going buying camping gear. Believe it or not, people were buying camping gear for the Y2K. After 2000, they came out with 2002, oh, the swine is killing everybody, oh, the swine, stars. They tried to scare the population every year. I don't know what it is today. I think it's the war with uh, Korea. So, if you go into war, any nuclear bomb, you just throw all your t technology out to, into the trash because that's not going to work if they have an EMP. Living in the woods with radiation is not a good idea. Uh, so, are you going to live in the woods in a bag? There's some, you know, I just showed you a shop, couple of pictures you filled your bag up with. Now, in reality, you think you're going to grab all that stuff and just run into the woods and live in the woods. Let's say they did really have maybe an, a zombie apocalypse. The first thing, if you really believe there's a zombie apocalypse maybe ahead of you, you might want to move out of city and move into a country town. Think about it. Almost every movie you ever watch, it's always in a city. There's more zombies there. They're watching, you know, watch them eat everybody. So grab your bag. Do whatever you want. Now, if you really believe in the zombies, the first thing you want to do is move out of the city. And here, here's a picture of a nice city for you. Now, this city is pretty big. That's almost, what, 2 million people, maybe more, I don't know. And you live in here. So, all of a sudden, you got EMP, zombies popping everywhere. Guess what? You're going to be a zombie soon, too, because you got to go through that to get into the woods with your bug out bag. Unless, you know, there's another city. Let's think about it. Now, if I was you, if I lived there, I'm moving to the country city. Something like, maybe like, maybe like this. There you go. Less people. He might have a hundred thousand. Or maybe less. Depends on the city. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Country city. Now you can go somewhere else. You can find more property. Live on land by yourself. With your family. Less zombies. Less attacks. So here's another little picture that you might want to live at. But in reality, if you really believe that aliens will come down, <clears throat> Come down and, and eat you eat your brains or woo, 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 woo. 
Oh, the aliens are here, the aliens! I swallowed my journey back even when I saw that damn UFO! Oh, Jesus! Oh, praise the Lord! And what they did, they made zombies. Oh, man. They made tons of zombies. Oh, 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 oh. And guess what? Guy got mad because the, uh, the aliens made zombies and God didn't want no one to make life but himself. So guess what? He came down too. He said, what the hell? Oh, who did this? Bam! I'm going to destroy the whole world. Now, if you believe in Jesus already, you already went through the trials and tribulation. You're going to heaven automatically. So why worry about it? Now, in reality, this is what you really should be worried about. See, that's called a hurricane. A hurricane destroys a lot of cities, a lot of towns. It hits everywhere and goes everywhere. It has its own mind. And here's a couple other pictures of hurricanes. Now we got also natural disasters. What makes me wonder, for a natural disaster, do I want to grab a bag and run into the woods when there's that in the Gulf? Alright, you got so many willow makers, they got earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, and tornadoes. I think that's how it goes. That's a couple of natural disasters. I will not live by a mountain there's natural volcano or earthquake zone or a hurricane. There's a couple, you look at the words on the side, you see all the things, wildfires, blah, 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 10 natural disasters that you need to stay around with. Here's some charts that you might want to go up and read. So there's the chart. Flood is the main course of disasters lately but the others are real too I'll give a little coffee break here well tea here's another little chart oh we forgot the meteors meteors do happen every 10,000 years we might have one that, that destroys us but it's been a while since the whatever planes of the galaxies is all gone, if you know what you mean. Now, here's another type of disasters. Plagues. They got fungus, fires, bacteria, poisons, active, all kinds of stuff that can kill us. That's the ones we should really worry about. And another one you got to really worry about. It's riots. <clears throat> riots are pain in the butt. But if any of those things ever happen, here's a couple pictures of riots. Just think about that coming down your street during the city. That's why I also say, if you live in a city, this is what you might see in your backyard. So why would you live in a city in the first place? Don't get me. And you complain about it. Ooh, live in a city. Here's another picture of a riot. Now me, I know about all these disasters and I know I pick and choose, well my family pick and choose where I live, but I pick and choose where I want my house been built. I pick and choose my little house where it doesn't flood, doesn't have earthquakes, it might have a tornado here and there, or hurricane, I've already been through one, I've been through the worst one, Hurricane Katrina, it was a bitch. But who will move out their house to go into the forest? Even a trailer can withstand some of the hurricanes and it, you can be poor, rich, or, or uh, nothing and still have a good house to live in. All these disasters I'll re remain in my little house until it's all over with. And once it's all over with, I'd be happy to leave and come out my shell. I'm the Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy this video.